More than 10,000 flights were delayed and more than 1,300 canceled yesterday after the FAA ordered a nationwide ground stop due to a computer glitch. Nationwide. In January of 2023, the FAA's NOTAM system suddenly crashed, causing widespread pandemonium for travelers and airline officials alike. The FAA cited accidental file deletion as what prompted the system's outage. But some people are challenging that answer, citing the age of NOTAM as the potential reason for its failure. And those people wouldn't be far off. As in 2021, the federal government would recognize the need to update the software and even pass the bill with the intention of doing so, a bill that unfortunately would never reach the Senate. NOTAM's outage is a prime example of a legacy system failure and why legacy system migration is a necessary element of a software's life cycle. But before we talk about migration, let's start with the basics. What is legacy software? In order to understand that, here's Door 3's founder, Alex Eisenhoff, discussing the life cycle of software. All software has uh, a life cycle. It, it has a, you know, a conception, a birth, a life, and a death, right? There's an idea, um, that there's a period of development, uh, and gestation, so to speak, um, and then the, the thing is born into the world, and, you know, and it evolves, you add to it, uh, you learn what else it needs, you, you learn what else the world needs from it, uh, and, and it grows, right? Eventually, a piece of software will hit its prime era, where it's at its most capable for what it's designed to do. But once the aging process begins, that narrative starts to change. Aged software is functionally deficient, expensive and difficult to maintain. It means that your business is leaving money on the table, and it creates reputational damage. Once that aging piece of technology is no longer supported by its developers or becomes fundamentally inefficient for what it was designed for, it becomes a legacy system. Not only do legacy systems slow down business operations, but they can also be a major security risk. One of the ways in which security is maintained is a close cohesion and collaboration between a well-maintained, fully patched operating system and the software that runs on that operating system. When a software can no longer communicate efficiently with its operating system, it's time to conduct a legacy system migration. Legacy system migration refers to the process of transferring data, applications, and other technological assets from antiquated systems to modern ones. So let's say you've discovered a piece of legacy technology that brings down your business. What can you do about it? There are multiple approaches to legacy system migration, and each depends on the needs of your company. Some approaches include refactoring or re-architecting, replatforming, or rebuilding and replacing. But how can you know which approach is best for your needs? Well, before you start moving anything on your own, it's time to talk to the experts. Taking a company that, that has been sitting on the same software platform for 20 years and saying, hey, you know, let's go to class for a week, we'll figure out how to either manage it or code it or whatever it is, ain't gonna happen. Right? They should find a partner with whom they build a relationship. They don't have to sign up for a big contract. They need to build a relationship. Uh, and that, that can be done in something like a discovery phase. It can be fairly economical. See, see what it's like to build ideas together. See what it's like to listen to each other and to build a plan that you can both agree on, right? And, uh, and take advice on how to balance a software project in a way that is not, uh, that, that respects the multidisciplinary nature of, of, of the work. 